All right, this is lesson number four. Now, on back to the basics. Now, in lesson three, I taught you this, the C chord and where to place your fingers. Now, in the same area of the neck of the guitar, I want you to, this is the uh, four chord in the key of C, and it's called F. Now, I want you to take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the fourth string D, right there. I want your second finger on the second fret of the third string G. Now, I'm going to make it real hard on you here. Lay your index finger, your first finger, on both the first and second strings on the first fret. Just lay it down and press down, because you need both strings to play this chord. That's your F chord. Okay? Now, there's a third principal chord. We call these principal chords in a certain key. In this case, we're in the key of C. So, the third principal chord in the, in the key of C is G7, okay? So what I want you to do is bring your third finger down here to the sixth string, third fret. That's the G note. That's the root of the G chord. Put your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string A, and then put your index finger, your first finger, on the first fret of the first string. And strum all the way. Okay, that's your G seventh chord in the key of C. Now, I could say a lot about this chord. It's a transitional chord because it takes you back to your one chord in the key of C, which is the C chord, which I taught you just a while ago. So again, we have C, F, G seventh, and then back to C. Okay. I'm going to end with that. Be watching for the next lesson.